Hello lovelies, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lizzie. I post beauty related content here on YouTube. If there are videos you love to watch them, please hit that subscribe button down below. Today we have a full face of first impressions. I haven't done one of these in a little while. I usually do one every, I say I get up about two to three of these a year. So this is my first one of 2023. And I'm very excited because I feel like I've got, usually I miss a few categories, maybe mascara, maybe brows, maybe foundation, but I think I've got a full face here. So I'm very excited for this. There's literally one item that I'm missing, which is a brow pomade, but it's fine. I have my old one, so we're going to use that. But I have like a new brow gel. I have a new mascara. I have a new, I've got loads of primers I haven't tried. So we're going to try one of those. I have a new foundation. And that's only because Sephora sent me two by accident. They sent me the normal one, um, which I love. And then they actually sent me the glow one. So the first thing I like to do before I come on camera is I like to like pull my brows up a little bit. So what I've got is, the, it's not new, but it's new to me. The Benefit 24 hour, hour Brow Setter, which just looks like this. So my deputy at work, I love her. She said this is like glue and she isn't wrong. It's actually like sticky looking. And how many times can I say like? I'm gonna push my brows up. It's a really weird brush. It's like a flat brush. You've got spikes on either end. So let's see, oh, oh, it's like a comb, wow. Oh my God, she says this sets her brows in place all day. She's not wrong. Wow, look at the difference. Oh, this might do better than my Beauty Bay one. I'm gonna use the other side and do the other brow. So I'm not double dipping too much. Oh my God. And it even gets those tiny little ones right at the front. <laughs> wow, okay. You know my thoughts on it. Benefit is a little bit more pricier, but if it's a good product, I will spend that money on it. So yeah, oh, one thing I haven't got is a new eye base. I'll use my Beauty Bay one. My trusty Beauty Bay one. I actually tried a Revolution one and absolutely love it. However, later on I found that there was a few creases. So I just wanna like try it out in my own time before I use it on camera again. So we're just gonna do the base on my eyelids, which this one creases quite quickly. So you have to work with it quite quickly. <laughs> I usually just use a beauty blender for that. I said we've gotta be quick. So I've gotta show you the eyeshadow palette really quickly but I think you guys will love the eyeshadow palette. The eyeshadow palette is one of those new four pan palettes from Colourpop. This is Chestnuts About You. So I thought I would use something quite simple because we've got a lot of new products to test. Love these palettes. And this is what the inside looks like. So we obviously only got two sh matte shades to play with, which is fine. And I usually know by now, I've creased. So let's put the darker shade whoo, on the outer corner. Very dusty, but what do you expect nowadays? Wow. Okay, dust off, guys. Whoa, the pigmentation. Oh my god. I'm just going to bring that right in. I'm using my mirror, and it's a bit further away than I would like it, so. I'm a bit blind at the moment. Then we'll take this shade right here, really dust that off. And just blend, 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 to be fair. Don't feel like there's much blending that needs to be done. This had a brown in it, it would be perfect. And then like this tone in it too. And then like a nice deeper gold and a light in a corner shade, perfect. But it don't, so we're gonna just make do with what we have. I'm going in very messy because we'll clean up after. And plus, I'm blind, so <laughs> I'm quite messy anyway. For the lid shade, I'm gonna go in with this pink shade because then the gold we can use on the inner corner which is going on really nicely. As usual, you cannot fault a Colourpop eyeshadow. Just like that, you're done. 
there is a lot of fireworks going on so I'm trying to talk loud so you guys don't hear it as well as Saf is by my feet and she hates fireworks like hates them but I'm hoping that she's in a deep sleep and while I'm filming she's not really fussed but yeah I don't love fireworks either I'm one of those people growing up I hated fireworks now we're just going to use what was left on the darker colour and just blend out the edges. Gonna quickly clean up the edges as I said and come back for a bit base. Eyes are done, now let's move on to base. I feel like I'm getting ready in normal time. I got this new Revolution Super Base Colour Corrector Skin Base. I got the yellow one, there is a green one which corrects redness but the yellow one kind of brightens I believe, I think. Either way I saw Luce use the yellow one and I was just like yeah, I have to use that one because <laughs> redness I don't really suffer too much with. People might disagree, but I feel like once I put makeup on, you really can't see. And I think I've put a little bit too much on, so just gonna... Wow, let's just put it on my face. I've got a glowy foundation, so I am going to be glowing to the moons, really, aren't I? It's nice. I like it. Not tacky, slippery. <laughs> Let's put on the Sephora Best Ever Skin Glow Foundation. I have the shade 10N, which I feel like whoever packed my order um, gave me a good colour match. They are quite thick. I'm going to try and use the brush from Revolution. This is an RA angled brush. I love this. It's an angled foundation brush. I did just put a couple more dots on, but... Wow, that looks like a really good match. I feel like now I know what shade I could possibly be in a Sephora foundation. So let's see how this goes on. Definitely a luminous foundation. You can see that. Once I've patted it, I like to go in with a beauty blender. This might actually be a couple of shades too light, but it's got the right undertone. I'm going to do a blender because I feel like this is a type of foundation that will do really well with a blender. It is very glowy. Yeah, it's a bit light for me, but nothing a bit of bronzer won't fix. Definitely medium coverage, which I like. Very happy with that. That is nice. It looks like it's the right tone off camera, but on camera I look a bit ghostly. But we're going to bronze up, and I have the new e.l.f. Luminous Bronzer to use. I've got the shade Seaside Shimmer. Again, this is more of a luminous product, so this is kind of like a very glowy tutorial at this point. But that is the shade there. I got like a shade that worked with me while I'm pale, because I'm going to be pale for a good six months, so might as well get a pale shade. Using that angled brush again from Revolution, but I have a bronzer one. Well, one that I use for bronzer. Looking really nice. I'm loving the shade. Well, I'm in love with that bronzer, but I do love the original putty bronzer, so I am in love with this formula too. It's I am very luminous. This is not something that's going to last on my skin all day, but it is something that's good for photos. <laughs> Let's try... A cream blush these are the Kylie blushes I finally now own them all and I'm not sure what shade I'm gonna go for I feel like I don't know I've got three options here so there are the shades there this one here is called doing the most this one's called feelings neutral and this one is called pink me up neutral I think I've used for a TikTok, so I'm gonna put that one away I think we should go for Pink Me Up because it's, well, it's my next favourite. I love these blushes. I feel like these really do remind me of Milani. That's that there. They've got the same kind of texture to them. So again, I'm going to use my favourite cream brush. This is again the R8 from Revolution. I find that these are so good. I have a about four of them. I use one for foundation, one for bronzer, one for blusher, and then I have one spare. Oh, this is nice. 
that is really nice. I'm really perfecting my cream, um, cream product application, especially the blushes. Oh, this is so, so nice. We've got another product to try that's a bit more bougie for me. And we've got to thank my lovely friend Bin for this. So her real, well, Jess. <laughs> Jess, this oh, is the Charlotte Tilbury powder. And she bought it for my birthday. And I haven't used it yet. And I'm so glad that I've saved it for this video. She got me the, um, the shade medium. Guys, I have a Charlotte Tilbury powder. And you know how much I love pressed powders so I'm very very excited to try this I'm just gonna make sure under my eyes are not creased oh my god it's so nice I love this I love this it is so so nice on the skin it's very finely milled you're not gonna feel like you've got too much product on your skin I can still see luminosity through my skin from all those luminous products I will spend the money again to get that so thank you so much Jess that is gorgeous we have a highlight to test <laughs> again a bit bougie this is rare beauty in exhilarate this is their new highlighters guys she has four shades and they're very universal i've seen so many different people get away with this highlighter and then i've seen people my skin tone get away with the highlighter that's a bit darker so i'm very happy i've got a bit of bronzer on my highlight brush because i was doing my nose with it but let's use it let's use it oh my god when selena said this was like glass skin she was not lying i'm telling you oh Oh my god. Bathe me in this stuff, please. If I wasn't luminous enough, I am really luminous now. This is a win for me. Alright, then I usually go and do my eyebrows. So I'm going to quickly do them off camera. Um, because you've already seen me use the brow zing but what I usually do is go in with pomade and then go in with this again so when I go in with this again I'll come back on camera I've done the pomade now let's do the gluing again I just like to brush them out one more time it also just helps your brows not look too harsh I feel in my opinion now even though I brush them up they do go down a little bit more but I just love that fluffy look and then we have a lip combo we are going to be using the NYX Soft Spoken Lip Liner and Fenty Hot Chocolate Gloss. So let's do it. Not as dark as I would want it, but hey ho. Now let's use the gloss. Look at that. Look at that gloss. Smells yummy too. <laughs> Love it. Okay, finishing off the eyes. Let's go in with this gold for inner corner and brow bone. Mm, no, that's not, it's not highlightery enough. We're going to go in with the Rare Beauty one. Yeah, much nicer. Okay, and then the last thing is mascara. I've actually got a new one. This is their Real Magnet Mascara. This is one from, it was from a box. I think the box was even last, like 2021. So let's try it. This is what the actual one looks like. Oh, it does give them a lot of lift. This is the finished look. Now, I'm pretty, pretty happy with everything. I don't think there's a product here that disappointed me. I do have the new Kylie Jenner um, blushes, the powder ones. Well, not new, but they're new to me. I feel like we should put one over the top. I'm going to go for the shade Baddie on the block. I feel like that would be a nice... Oh, just banging and breaking things. A nice one to go over the top of this blush. Yeah, yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. So, a rundown of the products. We use a lot of products. The ones that stand out to me the most are obviously the Rare Beauty Highlight. Like, that is just gorgeous on the skin. I've just put blush over the top of it and you can still see it. 
that is oh, that is that is the star do love the luminous putty bronzer that would be perfect in the summer to, actually no perfect for the winter because i feel like in summer it's just going to go too oily like not oily but your skin gets oily quite quick whereas in winter when your skin is very dry this will give it that oomph that it needs before i was like why did they launch luminous ones in like the colder weather but now i kind of understand the primer is really nice my skin feels really nice really set so i hope that it, it helps my makeup to last for a long period period of time it might not it might do the eyeshadow palette is gorgeous but I would tweak it just a little bit I would keep that deeper shade no I'd keep the lighter shade have a darker brown here I would keep this shade and have a lighter inner corner shade that's what I would do the Kylie cream blushes I love them I really love them they look amazing as well topped up with the blush the powder blush i think it looks absolutely stunning one thing i'm not too keen on are the nyx lip liners you have to really warm them up on your skin and it didn't look how i wanted it to look but the gloss gloss is gorgeous really gorgeous you can get different colors from that gloss depending on the lip liner you put underneath the powder the powder is so nice like it gives you a nice soft finish to your skin i love it so i love everything in this video i even love the glowy foundation i feel like that will be a hit in the colder months again so i hope you guys did enjoy this video please smash a huge thumbs up subscribe down below and i'll catch you in my next one bye